YouTubers, what is up? Morris here. I right, playing a little demolition on interchange for you. Some fast motion because it's a long match, and uh, I don't think you want to watch a 17-minute match. So I kind of scaled it down to about 10 minutes, you know. But anyway, um, anyway, so I know I said I was gonna get Black Ops, get some zombies. I'm going to. I just gotta borrow it from a friend because I don't got it anymore. So um, yeah, uh, the Xbox that someone sent me. Uh, it's really weird because you know how it's got the neon green lights that go around the power button? Well, this one's got, it goes for like red, blue, yellow, green. Like it's really weird. Or purple. Or, it's really crazy. I like, I don't know if a dude sent me a modded Xbox or what, but it's, it's kind of crazy. Um, so, yeah, I cannot get the uh, the hard drive to work, though. It's got like a 250 gig hard drive with it, but I can't get it. Like, it snaps in, fits comfortably, cozy, all that good stuff, but it doesn't show up on the list of storage devices so <clears throat> what I pretty much have to do like I record f via theater um, because if you guys don't know I well I have a 42 inch flat screen plasma flat screen okay and I cannot play on that I, I don't know how some of you guys play on flat screens I, I have no idea I don't know if it is different by model or by brand or by whatever whether it's LCD or plasma or what I don't know but there's such a huge huge delay on my uh, flat screen, like um, I'll, for example, I'll, like I'll move now, and then it'll happen now. You know, what I mean, it's it's it doesn't sound like much when you say it, but in a game where every millisecond counts, it it's huge. It's like virtually unplayable. Like <laughs> I will go so negative playing on that, and I don't want to upload a whole, you know, like negative content. Not that I try to look and find positive content. I pretty much upload whatever I got. Um, but it's just, I can't do it. So what I got to do is I play on my little, I think it's like a 19 inch, <laughs> um, little 19 inch monitor TV. And then I go to theater and I hook up my plasma to my HDP VR and I record it like I'm doing now. The reason why I got to do that is because even though my Xbox, it's got to be a high definition TV to do it because I gotta see what I'm doing and if I go to if I put in my Xbox to 1080i and if it's on HDTV it's not going to show it on the TV therefore I won't be able to know what the heck I'm doing so that's why I gotta uh, <clears throat> rehook it up to my HDTV and everything but I can't play it on my plasma so it's like I play it on one TV and when I record in theater I hook it up to the other TV so it's kinda crazy now you're probably asking, okay, what do you do in the case of zombies? Zombies, they're not shooting at you, so I think I can get away with a little bit of a delay, so I end up hooking it up to the, and I just record as I go, which is what I'm going to have to end up doing anyway, so, <clears throat> you know, it is what it is. But, uh, so yeah, I'm definitely going to get some zombies up and everything. But anyway, back to what I was saying, um, the hard drive don't read anything. So pretty much what I got to do is it only saves about three or four games in theater at a time. Then I gotta go back or dashboard, go into the system settings, into the storage, and delete the games if I don't want them in my like vault, you know, <laughs> or on there, and then go back in the game and it'll record three or four more. Yeah, cause the hard drive isn't, I don't know. But you know, I can't complain. The dude sent me an Xbox for, for freaking free. I mean, what can I, what can I do, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's freaking awesome. But um, so yeah, that's that's that. And uh, what's that? What, what are you guys' thoughts on uh, Modern Warfare 3? I know I'm uh, kind of late in it. I played about a month of it when it came out, then went away for about three and a half, four months, and then came back and have played about I don't know, close to about a month of it again. What do, what do you guys think about it? I mean, to me, I mean, I, I don't want to come out sounding like uh, you're you know you know complain all the time and everything like that, but. I really feel like it's probably the worst COD game ever made. Um, from when we started from COD 4 on, I, I don't know. I just this makes me miss Black Ops, and I never in a million years thought I would say that. Um, what I really do miss is the combat record. I miss that so much. That was a great deal of information. Like if you were playing somebody and you wanted to check out their stuff, and I mean they had virtually every stat you could think of right in there, all organized. Like it was really. I miss combat records so much. Um, I miss creating emblems too, but I mean, I kind of get it. I mean, there was so much sex emblems on there; it was ridiculous. Like, 
it, it kind of got old. But I mean, I don't know what they can do to stop people from doing that, other than if they see it, ban you. But I mean, that's if they see it. They can't go through every single person. So I mean, I don't know. Um, there's still some stuff in COD that needs a fix, and this is from COD. I, I've noticed it from Black Ops on, but it's probably been in every COD. And that's just a few things. Like one, I can't stand if you're being like if you're shooting at someone, how they can run through your bullets and stab you. That drives me crazy. Like I seriously, I mean, think about it. Are you gonna run through someone's bullets and stab them? Like even if you get shot in the hand, your hand's gonna go so far back or something. Like I don't know. Like you're not gonna have the power to will yourself in this. I don't know. It's just it's weird. I, like to me, all they have to do is if you're being shot at that you're temporarily unable to knife. Kind of like, you know how, um, I think they just added this in for this one, because I don't remember Model for 2 being like this. Maybe they, maybe it was. But if you're being hit by a riot shield, it kind of stops your shooting there for a little bit. Like, if I recall, I think in Model for 2, you could kind of like still keep shooting, kind of turn on them a little bit and try to get them. I don't know. But uh, kind of like that, to where just, you're just temporarily unable to knife for a little bit. I don't know. Let's just think about it. I don't know. But um, another thing is, and this is, there, there might not be nothing they can do about this one, but it's just kind of aggravating. I'll be getting shot at, and I'll get behind a wall or behind cover, and then I'll die. Like the bullet, like the very last bullet kind of followed me around the corner. It drives me crazy. Um, and that's probably just the ping. There's probably nothing they can do about it. I don't know, but it just kind of drives me crazy. Now on to the things that are just, you know, Modern Warfare 3 related. Look, the spawn, I know what they try to do. I play a lot of demolition, and I don't really play a lot of anything else. So this might just be a demolition problem. I don't know. But the spawns are so effing bad. Like, I'm surprised it even got to market with this bad. Um, and I know what they try to do. I mean, in Black Ops, people were spawn trapping the heck out of you. Like, you would spawn, and boom, someone would kill you right away. Like, they were right there, pre-aimed, ready for you. And... It's cheap, and I'll be the first to admit it. I did it a couple times with clan mates and everything, and it takes organization. Like you, you need to be your clan mates and everybody need to be all on the same page. Like I'll get this spot, I'll get this. Spot. One, one, you'll all have to know the you know the spawn spawning points, but like you know this person will get this person. I'm sorry about the, how the video went black. You know I forgot to kind of move my controller. It'll uh <laughs> it'll uh go back lit, lit up. It just you know whatever. <laughs> anyway um. But yeah, like I, uh, you know, you, you get your clan mates and this person takes this spot, this person takes this spot. And I even did it a couple of times and it's, it's really cheap. And I was not proud of myself. It, it's really cheap. I get it. But isn't it kind of your fault for getting spawn trapped in the first place? Like I understand if you f come into the match. I used to hate that. Um, where you would, this is another thing COD needs to kind of figure out. Um, and they're damned if they do, they're damned if they don't. Because... If you if people leave the match, then the enemy team gets a forfeit win. There you go. Now the enemy team might get upset because they want to, you know, they might be on high kill streaks and they might want to keep, you know, owning and everything like that. But it's not fair to the people that come in when they're already getting raped. I mean, I'm tired. Like in Black Ops, I would come in and boom, instantly there was chopper gunners in the air and tack dogs and everything else. It's like that is so unfair. I did not contribute at all to these guys' kill streaks, and now I'm going to get owned by them. You know. So it's it just I don't know, or, or if he came, if he'd come in and all of a sudden there'd be a spawn trap, and it's just like wow. Now I see why there was so much room available in this game, you know. So I I don't know. They're damned if they do, because if they don't, then it's unfair to the people that come in, and it's really you, know, you you dare not freaking play alone because you you know you're gonna join a session in progress, and who knows how bad that session could be. Um, and they're damned if they don't, or they're damned if they do, because then the people will back out and they'll never get anybody else in and a lot of games will end because of that and that's never fun so I don't know what they do about that but um <clears throat> I have no idea but I mean I even did it so I know that's why they changed the spawns is because you know they don't want spawn trapping going on but there's times I will literally someone will literally spawn right behind me like right behind me and a Oh, after after a while, I, mean, I was thinking like, wow, this keeps happening. You know, I wonder what's going on. Am I just rushing too hard? I finally watched the kill cams. Nope. 
Nope, not at all. They're actually spawning behind me. Another thing they gotta fix, please, for the love of God, fix the striker or the shotguns in general. Just decrease the range on them a little bit. I, uh, it's, I don't know, it's ridiculous. But anyway, I still play it because it's the, you know, it's the uh, most up-to-date COD. Um, but uh, yeah, that's about it. So anyway, I, I go pretty good here. I think I go like 70 and something. I don't know. It's it, Yeah, pretty good game. All right, guys. Peace out. Subscribe.